Hello, Vinyl Community and everyone else watching this. I hope you are all doing well. I wanted to do a little bit of a follow-up to another VC member's vi or videos and um, give a shout-out to his channel, too. His name is Robert S., and he's become a good friend of mine. His channel is called Rob Skewer Music, and he's done a couple videos on eight one-hit wonders that you might be surprised only had one hit and he did another one eight two-hit wonders but I'm always more interested in the opposite so with 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 pardons to Robert um, I thought I would make a video in that same vein but 12 artists that you might be surprised are no hit wonders and let me define hit before you know I get tons of they had a hit you know this reached number 72 in England I am talking US I'm talking Billboard top 40 charts okay they never had a top 40 hit according to Billboard magazine in America that is the criterion for this and these are 12 artists that you might be surprised never had a top 40 charting hit in America especially the last couple I think a lot of people will be like what that can't be true but it is true so we're gonna start off with somebody that might not surprise you so much but still I think when you think about it you, you might be a little surprised and that is Mr. Dick Dale the king of the surf guitar Mizulu never hit the top 40 Let's go trippin', never hit the top 40. Surf beat, never hit the top 40. Riders in the sky, Havan Nagila, never hit the top 40. Dick Dale never had a top 40 hit. That's kind of amazing when you think about it. Although it's not, but well it is because there were tons and tons and tons of instrumental hits in the early 60s. I mean, a lot. He, uh, hardly... Uh, I don't, I don't know if there's a chart from like 1958 to 1965 a week went by without an, an instrumental in the top 40. There were tons of them. Uh, but this man, Dick Dale, never had a top 40 hit. Another band, you might not be that surprised at this one, but they, I mean, they got some MTV airplay and, you know, the X. The band X with John Doe and Xene, these guys never had a top 40 hit. Even in the early 80s, I forget what the song is. Um, I don't think it's, no, it's not on this album. But Blue Spark is, was a single that they had. Um, anyway, never had, it's like Burning House of Love or something, I think wasn't a top 40 hit so the band X but the thing is I mean these are bands that most people know most people know X never had a top 40 hit but it gets I kinda put them in order of surprise so maybe you're not that surprised at Dick Dale maybe you're not that surprised at X I don't think you'll be terribly surprised at this next one either but everybody knows them the Velvet Underground Velvet Underground never had a top 40 hit they have several singles. They probably released seven or eight singles in the band's three years of existence, but they never had a top 40 hit. So of course it's their first album. But yeah, Lou Reed, John Cale, Sterling Morrison, Nico's on this album, and um, Mo Tucker. Never, Velvet Underground never had a top 40 hit in America. This one you might be a little bit more surprised, especially if you don't know who they are and I tell you. But the Kings, the Kings with Switching the Glide, if, if you're of a certain age, I mean, you still hear that song on FM rock stations. Switching the Glide, the beat goes on, it was a medley of two songs, it was released as a single, didn't make the top 40 in America, the Kings. With a song that every, that's what I try to do, with at least one song that most people know. 
but it didn't make the top 40 charts. The Kings, no top 40 hits for them. Another band that you might be a little surprised at never had a hit, The Breeders. Cannonball, nope. Um, what was their other one on that album? I can't, uh, tons and tons of MTV airplay. Everybody knew who The Breeders were in the early 90s. But they never had a hit. Nope, nope, nope. Breeders never had a hit. And of course, Breeders were from um, Tip City, Ohio, near um, Dayton. I've been to Tip City. Um, <laughs> small place. This one, like I said, they might get more and more surprising as we go. I'm hoping that they do. Anyway. Tor Amos never had a top 40 hit. I mean, some of these people, it's not too late, you know. I mean, but yeah. I mean, the Cornflake Girl, Silent All These Years. Um, what was the one about raspberries? Something. Anyway, no top 40 hits for Tori Amos. She was a 90s alt piano player, if you don't know who she is. She's still around, still making records. But she never had a top 40 hit. Not in America. A band that everybody knows. And they had a few hits in the UK. Never charted in America. The Sex Pistols. Anarchy in the UK? Nope. Not a hit. God Save the Queen? Nope. Not a hit. Not in America. Sex Pistols. Never had a hit in America. And again, everybody knows the Sex Pistols. I don't need to. This one might even surprise you more than the Sex Pistols. The Ramones never had a top 40 hit in America. Believe it or not. Even when they re-released um, Sheena is a Punk Rocker. Um, no, it wasn't. It was, was it? One song they made like a 12-inch version. And it got tons of airplay in the le very late 80s. But still didn't chart in the top 40. Was it Sheena? No, um, it wasn't Blitzkrieg Bop. I want to be sedated. Not a hit. Sheena, not a hit. Blitzkrieg Bop, not a hit. Ramones, never had a hit. And for those of you that are, into, are interested in such things, I'm pretty sure that past the 50s anyway the Ramones are the first completely dead band and by that I mean all four original members are dead and I don't think there's another band certainly from this era where all four original members are dead or five or however many there are there's a, quite a few with three of the four but no one survives that was an original member of the Ramones this band surprised me to be honest. Split ends. Split ends with I Got You, Six Months in a Leaky Boat. Um, History Never Repeats. Lots of hits in the UK. Never broke the top 40 in America, which is just surprising to me. Split ends, of course, um, Neil Finn was in this band and would go on to form Crowded House. Who did have a couple of top 40 hits, but Split Ends never did. Another one, XTC. Dear God, not a top 40 hit in America. Senses working overtime? Nope. This is Pop, Generals and Majors. Ballad of Peter Pumpkinhead, Mayor of Simpleton? Nope, nope, and nope. None of them. <laughs> made it to the top 40 in America. Sometimes I question America's taste in music. All of those were hits in the UK. <laughs> in America, nope, 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 and nope. And um, I'm just seeing which version of this is. Okay, this is the standard version. Um, there are three versions of this album. There's one with Dear God, one without Dear God, with the man who sailed around his soul. And then there's a new issue that has both. Great album, by the way. This might be my favorite album of the 80s. Um, fantastic album. But they didn't have a hit. Okay, there's two left. 
And this one I think most of you will be surprised. And this is the song, Modern English. This is the I Melt With You 12 inch single. Did not hit the top 40 in America. Now you hear that song on the radio to this day constantly. Most of these quote unquote oldie stations that play late 70s and 80s and into the early 90s will play this every day if not several times a day. You know, playing the greatest hits of all time, all of that. This was not a hit. This did not hit the top 40 in America. And it's just the 12 inch version of I Melt With You. And uh, this one surprised me. It really, really did. Um, I would have thought for sure I Melt With You was a hit. Everyone knows this song. Nope, not a hit. And last, and to me the most surprising and just awful in a way, um, the Traveling Woolberries never had a top 40 hit in America. You think, wait a minute, Handle With Care was on MTV 12 times a day. It was on your FM radio station constantly. Yes, it was. Made it to number 47. It's as high as it ever got. And um, the second single out of the line only made it to like 60 something, 60 or 70 something. The Traveling Will and She's My Baby didn't even make the top 100 from the next album. This band, this super band with Bob Dylan, George Harrison, Jeff Lynn, Tom Petty, and uh, Roy Orbison, Jim Keltner on drums, never had an American hit. Blows my mind. Well, with apologies to Robert S., that's it. That's 12 artists that never had a top 40 hit in America that may surprise you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my podcast, Snap, Jeff, Snap Crackle Pop dot Um And uh, hope you had a great holiday or will have a great holiday. I don't know when this video is going to go up. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, take care and um, be happy, be well, and I hope you are all great. See you next time. Bye.